Heavyweight champion has been granted an IBF exception to not fight his mandatory to rematch Klitschko. Stay tuned. Boxing Eagle here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you want the, the notifications, become part of Notification Gang. Hit that bell icon. Now, I told you guys that Team Joshua had put in a request to not face their mandatory Q Brat Pulliv. He's the number one mandatory with the IBF, in which Joshua holds a heavyweight belt. And owning that heavyweight strap, you have responsibilities. You have mandatories, people who work in their capacity to become the number one challenger to get that title shot. Similar to Errol Spence Jr., who just finally got his last May, last month, against Kell Brook. He had been waiting. He had went through all the, the fights he had to go through, the Chris Algieri's to get ranked, then beat Leonard Bundu in the Eliminator, got his Kell Brook shot, and he was successful in a good fight, contested fight, competitive fight, and now he's the IBF champion. So it's only right that the guys who are looking to make a name for themselves get what they worked for. Q Brad Pulev being the ranked guy with the IBF, a guy Klitschko beat. But Klitschko beating him has nothing to do with Joshua since they're two different fighters. However, there's money in a Joshua rematch. HBO and Showtime both had interest in the first fight and they both picked it up in different capacities. Showtime got the live feed, so when it was coming on in the UK on Sky Sports in real time, Showtime, they aired it in real time. And HBO later on that night aired the replay. It was a great fight, fun fight. Team Joshua put in a request to make a second fight happen. So it really hinges on now that the IBF side is clear, they've outlined the details, which I'll talk about a little bit more. But it's all on Klitschko now. You know what I mean? Joshua said he'll fight him again. There's money there. Both guys made a, a, a nice chunk of change in the first fight. First fight was fun. Now, I'm just going to paraphrase the IBF terms of this exception. So they gave Joshua the exception, but it basically spells out that they have until December to work out the rematch with him and Klitschko, right? So they must fight between late October, about Halloween-ish, to December. So they gave him a time frame, like, okay, we, we're giving you an uh, exception, so you don't have to fight your mandatory, but your rematch has to happen between Halloween and December 2nd. So we'll give you time to rest and then give you time to negotiate. That's it. The other stipulation is this. Qbrat Pulev is the next in line. So whoever wins Joshua Klitschko, be it Joshua, or if Klitschko gets revenge, then he has to rematch Qbrat Pulev. If Joshua beats Klitschko again on the cards, knockout, uh, technical decision or whatever, then he has to fight Q Brad Pulev. So at this point, hinging and depending on Klitschko, we just have to wait for to make sure he does want the rematch because it's a dangerous rematch. It's the guy who's younger than you. He's strong like you, and he just knocked you out after battling adversity. So the winner has to fight Q Brad Pulev. And the other stipulation is they can't try to get a unif because a lot of times unification supersede a mandatory obligation so since Kubrat Pulev has been patiently waiting then they're not going to accept that so basically a long story short the winner has to fight Kubrat Pulev and if they can't decide on a rematch by a certain time it's Kubrat Pulev so Kubrat Pulev is getting his shot versus Joshua or a rematch with Klitschko and my thoughts real quick um I, I love the first fight but I kind of want to see Klitschko go out on his shield, let these young boys have at it. He had a great training camp. He was put hashtag obsessed, and he did great in the fight. He pushed Joshua. He knocked him down. He hurt him. He made Joshua dig down deep, and he still got knocked out. So, you know what I mean? I would. I think that's not a bad. That's not like Klitschko. If he went out like that, it's, it's not as bad as the 
the Bernard Hopkins knockout, he got knocked out of the fucking goddamn galaxy, right? By Joe Smith Jr. So, I don't know. I'd rather see Klitschko just leave it to the young boys. He's already done a lot. And, I don't know, these guys are fighters, so, you know what I mean? They're stubborn. So, just because he had a good first fight, maybe he thinks it'll be the same. But it could be like Adonis Stevenson versus Andres from Farah. That fight, the first fight was tough. Both fighters were pushed. Both fighters traded knockdowns. And then in the rematch, you seen Fafara get blown out and knocked out in the second round and hurt badly in the first and dropped. So, you know what I mean? It could be a situation like that. Like I said, I'm not going to count Klitsch go out, say he has no chance. But for me, I've seen it. The first fight was a great. I'd rather Joshua take care of his, his mandatory obligations so we can get to that Joshua Ortiz King Kong Ortiz or Joshua versus Deontay Wilder mega fight or even Tyson Fury but I haven't really heard much from Tyson Fury at all so I don't know how his weight loss is going and stuff like that but Wilder's still out there he's in shape so that's my thoughts it looks like it is what it is I'll definitely watch it because I'm a fan of Joshua and the first Joshua Klitschko fight was good so maybe Klitschko can do something subtly different but I don't know it's just it, to me it feels like sort of a waste of time not in the sense of it's it's horrible fight or anything like that but just a waste of time if the results are are pretty much the same you know what I mean then it's just like man we just you guys collected money and then it had similar results so the only only way it'll benefit Klitschko is if he actually beats Joshua and he's 41 and I thought he had a great game plan he was in shape so now he's coming off of a knockout loss which he hasn't lost by knockout in quite some time so I don't know I just I feel like Klitschko we've seen the best Klitschko and it still wasn't quite good enough so that's just my thoughts let me know what you guys think drop it in the comment section make sure you share the video like the video as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing